This past weekend, I went to DesignerCon 2022 and I picked up a record from Mondo. Let's cue the music. Hello and welcome to the show. Sorry if this is crinkly, but it's not an unboxing because I've already seen what's inside. But I got Matango from Death Waltz Records. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Check that out. Look at this amazing artwork from the poster, I believe. I don't know if there's a if there's an artist on this. Um, it says the packaging layouts by... Uh, uh, Animal Rummy, but uh, and this is mastered by um, Darren Page, but I don't see a credited artist on here. So I think this is original poster art sort of blown up. And um, my favorite thing about this is the OB strip. So the OB strip's this cool yellow and black look. And um, on the back it says what's coming soon. And what's great about that is they use the Toho trademark icons which i absolutely love i'm sure i've done an unboxing video where you've seen the godzilla trademark icon on the back of that shirt it has all the toho monsters so this is one of my favorite things so mondo if you're gonna um or death waltz i guess if you're gonna keep doing this um please please i like this a lot so this is music by uh sadao beku um from the movie by ashiro honda um this movie I saw for the first time a couple of years ago um, while doing the Kaiju podcast, and um, Jorge and I absolutely loved it. It is almost like um, Gilligan's Island meets Lost a little bit because the island is messed up that they go on. And the thing is, this came out like, I want to say like a year before Gilligan's Island, and I can't imagine that, um, was it Sherwood Schwartz? Uh, had seen Matango before doing it, but there is like, there's a skipper obviously in the boat and there's a first mate. Uh, there's might be a movie star. And I think, <laughs> I think there's millionaires. I don't know. It's pretty close to Gilligan's Island, but if you haven't seen Matango, look it up. Uh, I think it used to be on prime video. Um, it's great for Halloween season because it's like a horror movie. Um, it's a nice slow burn. It's real creepy. It's a mystery. And uh, these guys come into play. So I'm going to pop it open. Um, I, uh, I went to the Mondo booth. This is number, I don't know if I can get in close, uh, 577. And um, I went to the Mondo booth. I uh, ran into Brandon, who I had met for the first time. And uh, Spencer, uh, Spencer Hickman, who was um, a guest on the show with Mo Shafiq. So if you haven't watched that episode, um, go check it out. Um, it was a, we had a fun time talking about records and stuff. Tiny Knife just opened up the, the record. I have no idea. This, I, I had seen this artwork. They had posted this artwork um, online. But as far as everything else, I have no idea. Um, it doesn't look like it's a gatefold. So this is going to be a nice, quick unboxing. And also, it's you know what? i got to be honest with you. Sometimes I don't need the gatefold because sometimes I just want to, like, pull the record out and not have it be a whole production. And I just like to just sort of listen to it. Sometimes I just want to listen to it. And sometimes with the gate folds, it makes it tight for the uh, records to get out. And it's a whole thing. Anyway, I love gatefold art, but this one doesn't have it, which is totally fine. So here's the OB strip. And I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Um, hopefully you can scan this in your Discogs. Um, I'm the one that submitted this album to Discogs because I went to add it to my list and it wasn't there. Um, I forgot to mention, you can see that there, um, the, the upcoming, um, records are Rodan, which we're still waiting on. 
And if you listen to that episode with Moshe Fik and Spencer Hickman, you know who's doing the artwork for Rodan. And hopefully that's coming really soon because that's one of my if one of my favorite kaiju movie ever. But we're also getting a Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, which I believe is 1990. I'm gonna get it wrong. Two, I believe. Uh, fantastic score. And then one of my all-time favorites, um, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, which is also like 93, 90, 90, 91. It's from the 90s, but it's the one with Mecha King Ghidorah, which is one of my favorite guys. If you're not familiar with Mecha King Ghidorah, uh, Jorge, my podcast partner on Kaiju Pod, gave me this. It's the Mecha King Ghidorah uh, figure from Bandai, and he is... One of my all-time favorite kaiju designs. Because King Ghidorah is awesome as is. But then you add a robot with a pilot that pilots that robot part. Holy cow. Um, so I'm, I think that's the one. Like, like all three of these. I cannot wait. So Mondo, Death Waltz. Um, um, you don't have to release them all now. But I can't wait for him to show up. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't want to buy a bunch of records at once because I don't want to spend that kind of money. But um, I kind of want him now. <laughs> so here's the artwork. Uh, huge lettering Matango on the side. And uh, there's the Mushroom Man. And this little creepy guy in the corner. Where, there he is. Look at that guy. Have you seen the movie? That guy's scary. And then the artwork on the back. Here's with the complete track listing. And when I was posting this on Discogs, there's one track that's in Japanese. That's track 14. Um, and I put it up there in Japanese as is on Discogs. And it says, I translated it, it says Matango. If I'm, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. It could be Matango. I don't know if it's soft A's or hard A's. I should probably look that up. But um, let me know in the comments. Let's take out this vinyl. Oh, uh oh, we got extra stuff in here. Bonus stuff. Bonus stuff. Um, we got this. Stickers. Oh, man. Death Walt sticker, Matango logo, and then the full artwork. Uh, the full Toho artwork. So it's like a sticker sheet. Those are really cool. So you get a good nice shot of what the uh, the artwork is. I mean, I don't know if these would would work on your car. They'd probably deteriorate. They're not like a, a, like a vinyl one, but um, but those are neat. I like them. Thanks, Mondo. Thanks, Death Waltz. All right, let's take a look at this vinyl. Holy cow! Like this is. A, look at this. It's a blue, yellow orange swirl with that great yellow and orange graphic in the middle and you get a lot more orange on the uh on the b side here look at that again i'm not i gotta figure out a way to get rid of reflections but amazing this album is pretty incredible i gotta say um even though it's not a gatefold that's totally fine. But the detail on the OB strip is my favorite. This might be my favorite OB strip yet, guys. So please continue to use the trademark icons. Um, and then they also are touting Space Amoeba up top. Let me see if I can get that. There you go. Um, if you don't have Space Amoeba, I just re-listened to it recently. It's terrific. Um, and the movie's good, too. Uh, there's some really cool stuff in Space Amoeba. So that is Matango. From designer con uh it's limited i don't know what the the number run is usually they do 2000 on these uh, i have number 577 um so check that out oh and before i go i don't know if i can because it's not a gatefold i don't think i'll be able to show you the spine really good but let me see if i can show you the inside hopefully you don't think this is too lewd but they have some pink graphics on the inside of of the the mushroom people let me see what that is in there yeah, it kind of looks like the mushroom forest a little bit. But um, that's a nice detail. If you're not going to have a gatefold, give me a nice... 
<laughs> a nice interior. So that's Matango. Um, Death Waltz, thank you for releasing this. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a first time in America thing. I'm not exactly sure if it's that. I'm not sure if it's a first time on vinyl, but it feels like something that I haven't been able to get because even when I put this on Discogs, it wasn't giving me any sort of other Matango versions to um, that, that, that were already on there. So um, check this out. Go to Discogs. See if I made any mistakes. If I did make mistakes, let me know. I'm at Casino Skunk on, on Discog. So come find me, follow me. I'll follow you back. Uh, just let me know on uh, social media. And uh, yeah, I'll follow you back. And uh, until next time, this is a terrific release. Uh, if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. Um, amazing music, amazing film. One of my favorites. I now watch it for Halloween every year uh, because it's a perfect, creepy, sort of bizarre horror movie. It's like a moody haunted house check it out it's terrific uh have a great day i have to go do another unboxing because i got a second record from designer con and that's rebirth of mothra 2 so i'll catch you on the flip side bye 